Year two trigonometric proofs can be quite tricky, but I'm going to share some tips which will make it a lot easier. So when you are working through a proof, you naturally want to start on the more complicated side and start simplifying your work. You also want to compare angles and number of terms. So on the left hand side, we have double angles and on the right, we have singular. So we probably need to use some sort of double angle formula. And we also have two terms on the left. So we may need to combine these together at some point to get one term. Let's start by writing these out as their reciprocal function. So cosec 2x is one over sine 2x. Cot 2x is one over tan, which can be written as cos over sine. These have a common denominator, so we could group these together. 1 plus cos 2x all over sine 2x, which is what we wanted to do anyway because we have one term on the right. Now let's think about the best trig identity to use for the cos double angle formula because there's three. So for cot, this essentially is cos x over sine x. So we want to use the double angle formula which has cos in it, which is 2 cos squared x minus 1. And on the denominator, we only have one double angle formula for sine 2x. Okay, let's simplify this and this will cancel out. That leaves us with 2 x over 2 sine x cos x. We can further simplify this so the 2s now will cancel out. 1 cos on the denominator cancels out with 1 cos on the numerator. This leaves us with cos x over sin x, which is cot x. And that's our proof. It might also help to rewrite the term that you're proving, just so you know what direction to take, because it's not always obvious.